It's Anne from the Useless Crafter. All right, so this is part two of Snow White. I don't know what happened. I rebooted and my project was saved. So, which I'm happy because I am actually going to make her, but that sucks that the video is now in two parts. <laughs> so, okay, so we have our black background, right? So let's go to shapes and we're going to bring in squares. We're going to be making, let's see, how big is she again? Let me move my face over and see. So she is... 16 in, oh, sorry 16 inches by 48 inches so our squares i'm using 12 by 12 cardstock so let's change this to 11 by 11 and the reason why i use 11 by 11 is because in this case it doesn't matter anyway but um i don't like using 11 and a half by 11 and a half i don't like dealing with half inches and then also sometimes your Cricut will tell you you can't cut 11 and a half, even though you can, and it says it's too much, like it's too long. You can cut 11.49. Well, I don't want to get to that point and have to resize anything. So that's why I like just doing 11 by 11. And like I said, in this case, it doesn't matter. She's 16 inches wide, which means we need two rows anyway, whether we use 11 by 11 or 11 and a half by 11 and a half. So we need two rows, and then at 48 inches, we need five, sorry, we need two columns, five rows. So we have 10 squares that are gonna be completely flushed with each other. And that's what we're building so that we can slice the background into 10 pieces that the Cricut can cut, all right? Hopefully I didn't lose anybody. All right, the other thing that when I do this, I want them flushed because I want the pieces to butt up against, against each other. I don't want any gaps. I don't want any overlays. I just want it perfect right next to each other so that I can tape it all up, put all the colored pieces, her face, her dress, everything on top, and it will cover the seams. Remember, we talked about that. So, all right, so we know we need 10 of these squares. So we're gonna put down just the first one right there. Don't worry about where we put it because we can move her later. We just wanna build our 10, um, what do you call it? Our 10 squares that are totally, I was just saying it earlier, oh my gosh. I will come up with that word in a second. All right, what we're gonna use is the position feature. So this tells you exactly where your X coordinate and where your Y coordinate to um, give your, your piece the exact position, okay? So X coordinate is the one running across, Y coordinate is running down. And I always think the easy way to remember is the Y is a long letter, right? So it's long like this and it loops down. <laughs> so Y is up and down, X is just across. Okay, so over here, let's just round to the nearest whole number. 4.889 is gonna become five. 1.33 is one. So what we're saying is go over five units, go down one unit, and here's the beginning of our square. Let's duplicate the square, flushed. We want 10 flushed squares. Oh my gosh, I'm losing my head. Okay, we're gonna put this one super close to this. If we do that, you don't have to do any math. You just, again, round to the nearest whole number, okay? So 16.0 something becomes 16, one, there we go. So now we have two perfectly flushed squares. Hit your shift key and grab the other square. So now both of these squares are highlighted and you can see over here, they're both highlighted. Let's duplicate them. So we don't make them, they don't need to be flush to each other. They just need to now put it close enough to the top one. And we're gonna go over here and change 5.056 to five and 12.1 becomes 12. Now we can grab four squares. So hit the shift key, you can grab them over here. These two are already highlighted. Grab this one and this one and duplicate. And here we go it really close then oh I already made this just perfectly at 5 23.1 becomes 23 all right we need two more squares right so I just clicked in the white space I'm gonna grab this square and this one and I'm gonna duplicate it I mean that was pretty easy to do right so now put it close enough, 5.167 becomes five, 45.2 becomes 45. We have 10 perfectly flushed squares. So go all the way down and where is her little image? Where are you? There you are. We're gonna click on this and we're going to arrange, send to the front. We just wanna make sure that where you're slicing it makes sense, right? Like I don't wanna slice off this little part of her calf. 
we're going to move her over so she's going to be sliced right up the middle um everything looks good now i'm going to zoom in just a little bit to show you what you don't want to do okay so for instance right um no i mean i guess this is okay these are big pieces i guess what you don't want to do is like the calf earlier when it was like this because then this little sliver will be a piece by itself that you need to then tape to the rest of the pieces and then there's going to be a seam for no reason right so you just want to make sure that all your 10 pieces are big chunks right so let me move my face over so her hair i mean her face is basically in four pieces and it includes her body so we're good there all right we're ready to slice so i'm going to zoom out a little bit more Okay, let's start slicing. We're slicing one square at a time with the image, starting at the bottom, and I'm just gonna go in order. So I slice that, I'm gonna do the next square with the image. I'm just gonna go all the way up and around. And so now we're taking this four foot Snow White and we're turning it into little pieces, little puzzle pieces that we can get to cut on the Cricut. And then afterwards, we're going to piece her all together and it's just going to be wonderful. All right, so let's, I'm just slicing all the way around. She's going to be so amazing. I can't believe she's going to be four feet tall. It's going to look so good. Okay, almost there. And our last piece. So what we did was we basically took 48 inches, right? And we made her foot now five by five basically right this is now seven by eleven and you can see i'm moving it over and keeping its place because i found that when i go to cut this on the cricut sometimes when i take things off the mat i accidentally turn it over so then i flip it and i'm like this piece doesn't work i don't want to spend any more time trying to piece this together if i have this as my little map then i know this piece is right way up it goes you know, on the left-hand side, whatever. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna delete all that. We don't need any of the slice results. And then I'm gonna show you what the Make It screen looks like right now, okay? It's gonna make it. A couple tips here if you haven't been with me before. All right, one of my pieces, okay, let's see, which piece would that be? Oh, because we need to twist it a little bit. Okay, so here's our white. And remember how our white was gonna be like, I think it was like an eight by eight piece because of the way of all the empty space. But now I can use my scrap and maybe move these over. To do something like this. And now I only need a four by five piece of white glitter cardstock, okay? So here's my black. My black looks good. Nothing that I can do there. This piece though, this little toe, we can click on the three dots, move object, and let's save a piece of paper. Um, that toe could definitely fit in many places, but let's put it over here. And then confirm. So now that piece will go over here it will cut with this piece, okay? All right, let's look at our red. Um, oh, I made the red, two different reds. All right, so this apple, let's move this apple to the other red. So I'm gonna move object and move it to this one. Maybe move this apple over here, move this down. All right, so now I'm gonna use a four by 12 piece. You could probably make this more efficient, but like you could do this. Move this over. This can go over here. Yeah, I guess we could have done a lot better. So now instead of a four by 12, a four by nine i could probably move this a little bit over and figure that out but then you have more space okay 
Um, okay, so her legs. Oh, her legs is where, okay. So we need to tilt the legs a little bit because I am using 12 by 12 cardstock. I don't have 12 by 24 to do her, her legs. And I definitely don't want any seams on the legs. So this actually is okay. I'm basically going to use my 12 by 24 mat. I'm going to put the skin color up on top. This will cut in the top half. This will cut in the bottom half. Perfect. Seamless. I love it. Um, although I think we can move some of these things. So let's try to get it just on two, two pages. Let's move object. Okay, we can move this here. Let's go back over here and grab a few more pieces. Now, if you're wondering what I use for the skin color, I get this question a lot. It is the blush pad from Michaels by Craftsmith. It is usually regular price is $20. I know it's ridiculous. Do not pay $20 for it. It goes on sale for five. <laughs> so if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, I will tell you when it's on sale. And then that way you can buy a bunch of them. All right, let me see if I, I think we can fit that other piece up here. So I'm gonna move this leg over a little bit. So we went from three pages to definitely just two, if I can find a spot for this one. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, for that one, definitely. Um, if you're doing Jasmine or Tiana, I do have this beautiful shimmer bronze color that's part of Cricut. And again, I will tell you when that goes on sale and um, you can buy it then. I think it you can get it for as low as four dollars a package instead of 12. okay um here's our orange this is a different goal that i'm going to use for the apple okay here's her dress so her dress is one and then it's with the rest of it i mean you could probably make this more usable for next time so if you did something like this this goes over here then the next time you use the gold glitter cardstock, you would have a five by six piece of cardstock that's very easy to use again. Okay, um, here's our blue, and I was hoping that the blue could all fit on one page, right? So let's click on this one, the three dots, move object. Let's get it onto this first one. I think, I think we can get it to fit. Yes. Oh no, hold on. Let's move this and see if we can. Um, or maybe I'm gonna move it over like this. There. Duh. <laughs> okay, so there's our blue and then her lips. And then we're done. Okay, so I'm gonna cancel out of this because I want to show you how to do the black hair. I'm not really sure of how I'm gonna do it, but, um, okay, so let's save this. Well, it's really not gonna, okay, there, save. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna grab all of this. I'm gonna click select all, and I'm gonna move it really far over. Okay, so I'm gonna upload her again because it's way too complicated to deal with all the stuff that we've done already. So here she is. Let's make her 48 inches. Sorry, I'm moving my face around. Okay, here we go. 48 inches. All right, so I am, so she's on top up here. I'm gonna get rid of all the things we don't need, okay? All I want is the black background and I want her face. Okay, I'm gonna move her face. Um, okay, so let's ungroup this. And I want her face arranged into the front. Okay. So her hair ends right here and right here, right? So actually, okay. 
Let's bring in a circle and I'm just going to slice it right there. Okay, so I'm going to grab, so I'm going to grab the black and the circle. I think this is going to work. We'll see. Actually, let's do, let's do this first. Let's grab the face and the black and we're going to slice. Let's get rid of all this stuff. Okay. All right. So this is what we're left with. And I basically want this little piece and this little piece over here. So, okay. So now let's make this circle. I don't know if I need to make it. I'm going to do that. Okay. So I'm going to grab these two things. I'm going to slice. But I'm not really sure what I'm doing right now. Okay. So. <laughs> Let's undo that. That's not what we want. Okay, what we want is, let's click on her. Let's go to contour, because I think now she's set. Oh, we need to do the other side. Okay. So let's bring in another circle. And let's slice it right there. All right, let's see if that works. Let's slice that. Okay, so now this image, let's go to contour and see what we have. Oh, good. So it's separated out. So we want, let's hide all. Let's actually want this. And I don't want this. Let's see what we have left. All right, so we have, great. Um, now, what do we want? We want to get rid of the circles. Let's see. I basically want, I want the hair to stay intact. So let me see if I can click on this and let's go to contour. Okay, um, let's make this bigger so we can see. So my circle is gone. I don't want that. Or do I? Doesn't matter. Okay, I'm talking to myself. All right, let me think about this. Um, okay, so let's click on this. Okay, so let's go to contour. I don't think I want this there. Okay, so that looks, and then I don't want that. Okay, but I do want this piece right here, I'm going to weld it. That's the bottom part of her hair. Okay, so now this side, where is that bubble? It's this one. Let's go to contour. Um, let's go to 100. I don't think I want this. Okay. That didn't give me what I, this is what I don't want. Okay, contour there. Sorry, I'm thinking to myself, okay, I don't want this outside piece. There, now we have our hair. Okay, so let's grab this and weld it. Okay, the piece, her hair, I mean, we don't need all of this, but it's going to sit behind her face, right? So her face is going to sit on top. So it is, it's too big both ways. So let's see. How can I slice this? If I slice it down the middle, it's still, okay. We need to slice this into pieces. So let's just, let's just do it. Okay. So unlock it. I'm just gonna slice it like right There. It really doesn't matter. Black litter cardstock, you're not going to be able to see the seams. So here's this piece. Let me see if this, will this be able to cut? 
Oh, no, it's still too big. So I'm going to have to slice it one more time somewhere over here. Let's look at this piece. This piece. Okay, this piece is fine. I'm going to slice this one in half. So let's get rid of this. This one more. This will give us the black for her hair, the black glitter cardstock. Okay, I'm gonna slice it here. So her black hair is gonna be in three pieces. Okay, that's the three piece of her hair. We are done. Okay, I am gonna get rid of this because we don't need that eye. And I want all of this to fit on one piece of cardstock. So I might need this space to put those things in. So I'm going to do this slice. Okay. All right. So let's save it one last time. And I'm going to show you what that hair is going to look like. I don't want it to be the color black because this is going to be regular black cardstock. And this is going to be, um, you know what? Let me go to contour. Let's get rid of those eyelashes. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's go to make it. And so here is our gray pieces. So let's see if I can. I'm going to move this one. I'm gonna, it says we need three pages. I don't think we need three. We might need two, but not three. Yeah, we're going to need two. But we'll consolidate this piece with that piece. Okay. And that's it. All right. Thanks, guys. That was crazy what happened to the project. Um, all right. So if you have any comments or questions, please post them. I will have... So this, this Snow White is going to be three videos. Video one, design space. Video two, design space. Video three, putting it all together. Um, but if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, both is The Useless Crafter, um, you'll see all the pictures um, through the process. And I think that will help you piece everything together. Um, if you have any yeah, comments or questions, please post them. If you have a special request, please detail it out or email me, Anne at the uselesscrafter.com. I would love to help you with your project. I'll make it into a tutorial and then you can follow along. Um, you still have to make it, obviously, right? Because design space, you can't just take my project and hit make it. Um, so I'm not enabling you all the way. You still have to go through and learn how to do it. But after you learn it, you're going to be able to do any project. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.